Good morning. So today is the first day that I've gotten to wear long sleeves this season. And it's the first day that I've started picking up leaves around the nature center here. So I took it as a good opportunity to come to you and talk about leaving leaves, an unpopular opinion, but I'm all about unpopular opinions. So I started picking up some of our leaves here because we don't want them in our stream. They break down and just become that detritus at the bottom of our creek and get stuck in our filter and everything else. So we don't want them in our stream. That's allowable. But what we're doing with them is interesting. And then some advice for what you can do at home. So all of our leaves will be raked up and they'll go in our compost. We have a compost out in our garden that has a bunch of our kitchen scraps, mine personally from home and then here from the nature center. And then we'll put leaves and layers in between to help break down all of that organic matter that becomes natural fertilizer. So leaves in your yard can act essentially in the same way. So you probably have a monoculture, you have a, a lawn that you mow and then you water and then you fertilize and then you mow again. And then you water and then you fertilize, and then you mow it again. And it looks the same all year and then you're gonna rake up all your leaves right now because you want your lawn to look nice, right? I get that. And I understand that there are a lot of homeowners association areas that have mandates about what you can have in your front lawn. But a lot of those are changing and people are becoming more open-minded about what your lawn can look like. So instead of raking all those leaves up and putting them in a plastic trash bag that then is hauled to the dump using gas and manpower and everything else, think about leaving your leaves. So just letting them lay where they fall because they're an organic compound, right? Leaves are full of nutrients and they're being dropped by trees that you hope stay there and mature and everything else. So why not just leave those leaves to act as a nice mulch and organic fertilizer for the next year? So between now and the spring, they will stay on the ground and they will create this little microclimate or microhabitat for microbes as well as invertebrates, as well as herps like salamanders um, and then worms, all kinds of things that live in there that need that really moist covered area over the winter when it gets really cold, it will maintain a more constant temperature. So it's great to just leave them and you can use settings on your lawnmower if you have a mulcher or even just a normal lawnmower and you can mow over them if you want it to look more homogenous, like to break them up a little bit manually before they decompose naturally over the winter. And there are also, uh, co-ops or compost organizations in a lot of municipalities where you can drop off compost or maybe you know some people that have a farm or whatever where you can take your leaves and drop them rather than putting them in plastic and taking them to a landfill. So I showed you last week we have a lot of our mums that are blooming and they're really pretty right now and there are mums from last year that we purchased and I had things uh, blooming in between them all spring and summer and these were green and then now they're blooming for the fall and so I won't pull anything and replant it I like to maintain and keep everything as natural as possible because that's the way it works it's naturally fertilizing it's dropping its seeds they're taking all their nutrients down to the roots and then the nutrients will be there for the next year I won't name names but there's an area on Western in Oklahoma City that was kind of infamous for the most beautiful landscaping. And it killed me driving to my high school every day and driving by watching them rip out tulips and then plant all the pansies in the fall and just thinking about all the money that was spent on that. And are they reusing those tulips next year? Like those are bulbs, those are going to come back. So when you're buying plants, think about those things that are perennials, the things that are going to get better and better every year. And then think about buying natural fertilizers. So instead of putting pesticides and all of these things that just create this ongoing battle, think about natural things like the leaves that are full of all of those biotic compounds that are so essential for your plants to grow that are literally dropping in your lawn as fertilizer. And then you're spending time and energy raking them up to remove them only to put 
more fertilizer in in the spring that costs money and more effort. So do a little research and take notice of how our ecosystem works on its own. It's a self-managing thing and humans just interfere a lot of times. So before you start spending all that time raking up the leaves this fall, look into leaving leaves. Maybe it will save you a little bit of work, uh, a check or two off your honeydew list, and in the end, it will help your lawn too. Happy fall, y'all.